In this video, we're looking at the brand new additions to the SoundLad Liverpool range. He's added three new pedals. Oh, yes, he has. The Clean Machine, the Private Beaver, and the Belter Skelter. Now, some of you will be familiar with SoundLad already because I demoed a couple of the pedals on this channel already. Namely, the Hungry Beaver and Scran. And these a version two of those circuits. Now, before we get going, there is an affiliate discount code. Check it out here. I'll put it in the description below as well. That gets you 10% off. So they're basically 90 quid rather than 99 quid. They're already a bargain at 99 quid and I get a little kickback from that as well. So it helps support the channel and everyone wins. So let's dive in and hear what they sound like. For the Hungry Beaver and the Scran, I would direct you to my existing demos, but I do want to show you what the kind of version one and version two uh, sound like. Now, if you haven't heard of the Hungry Beaver, I've already done a big demo of this one. Basically a Big Muff on steroids, but you've got two flavors of Big Muff, uh, like the New York and the Violet Rams Head, with stackable gain control. It's got a mids control, voltage starve, a bunch of stuff in there, right? It's really, really, really diverse in terms of the tones you can get out of it. So let's compare the old Hungry Beaver with the new one. The old one sounds like this. <laughs> be like a millimeter more treble in the new one but really i can't tell the difference between the two sounds fantastic so let's do the same thing for scran again i'm going to direct you to that demo i'll put the link in the description below because they do sound so similar you'll you'll get a better understanding of it from that but uh it's essentially an overdrive pedal it goes from treble boost right the way through to fuzz with amp like drive in between. Um, it's a brilliant pedal. I've used it in lots and lots of uh, videos and you can nail a bunch of different genres with it from Oasis to, you know, Stone Temple Pilots, to be honest. So speaking of Oasis, this is the original Scran. <laughs> settings on the new scran so it is a little bit brighter than the other one but i mean in terms of like gain and functionality from trouble boost through to fuzz sounds the same to my ears now the clean machine is basically a like a preamp or a boost it adds a bit of mojo to a clean tone especially when driving a tube amp and it can act as like a, a boost right through to like mixing desk style fuzz so clean tone clean machine with these settings nice is that again with it off and on perfect for John Frusciante stuff really adds that you know not quite cleanness to the uh, proceedings if I roll off the gain notice that it's taken you know a bit of the sort of bass out of there there's a bit of um bit of trebly now, isn't it? Which is great for if you had to ask, right? And this bit's awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Love that. Now, clean again. And with the pedal on and these settings. Such a lovely tone for a Strat. Really punchy. Definitely get you into some Stevie Ray Vaughan territory, I think, wouldn't it? I thought I'd show you some Queens of the Stone Age with this guitar because it's tuned down to C. So check these settings out for You Would Know. So there's just a little bit of grunt in there, isn't there? You can get some really spanky telly tones out of it as well. Let's do some Pearl Jam off their uh, Gigaton album, right? Whoever said the intro to that has got a really lovely tone to it. Here's my clean tone again. And with the pedal. And with these settings, you can also get some like faux jag tones from it, right? This is my clean tone again. Check this out. Now let me talk you through the controls ever so slightly. They're all super interactive. I'm just going to give you a quick run through. So with everything in the middle except for the bass, I can push it into that mixing desk style fuzz, right? So check this out. So that is lots of fun. Let's do the private beaver next. I love this one because I love the hungry beaver and this is very similar. It's got a lot of the feature set, but basically it looks different and it's um, combining like the big green and red army flavors of Big Muff rather than the New York and the violet ram's head uh, with the hungry beaver. So same deal, stack gain controls, mids control, voltage starve, all that good stuff. And again, if you go and check out the hungry beaver demo, That'll give you a really good idea of what this sounds like. But I'm going to show you the difference between the two. And it's not it's not night and day. It's very subtle. Private Beaver probably has a little bit less gain. So let's do some smashing pumpkins first. So with the Private Beaver and these settings. Sounds great, doesn't it? And the Hungry Beaver. So there, you probably can't tell too much difference. Now let's run through the range of gain you have with these two gain controls, right? With both at zero. Bottom one in the middle. Top one in the middle. Both in the middle. Both at three o'clock. So much bass, but the beauty of this pedal is that by the time the gain comes up there, you know, it's a lot more compressed, but you can then turn the mids up. So I'm going to turn the mids up to three o'clock. And if we turn the tone up to three o'clock as well. Now I want to 
to show you the starve functionality. So when you turn the volume up and the starve up as well, you get this sort of... You get that sort of choking effect on the note, right? Less sustain. Really good for stuff like a girl like you. So if you don't already have a Hungry Beaver and you want a fuzz pedal with a ton of options, then this is a brilliant consideration. Now the other new pedal is the Belter Skelter, which is a bass overdrive. It was designed to recreate John Lennon's bass tone on the White Album. That's a pretty straightforward affair. We've got volume, gain and tone. First up, clean tone. And with the pedal on, we have this. Pretty rad, isn't it? That was Little Sister by Queens of the Stone Age, by the way, if you couldn't tell from my playing. Now, if I back off the gain and up the treble. Again, clean tone. Using the dip switches, uh, adjust the tone as well. I'm not going to go through all of the dip switches, but check this out. A bit of Nirvana's lounge act. And with the gain at zero, we have this. with the gain up full. And for this one, I've got all the dip switches up, but not too much gain. And we have this. I'm gonna leave you with Orion by Metallica. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you soon.